Hello everyone, Jellybean Ranger here, and today I'm going to be starting my first ever Let's Play. I'm going to be playing Crusader Kings 3. I've been looking forward to this game for quite a while, and I've already put a, a decent amount of hours in, I think, actually. Oh, 20 or so, 30 or so. And I think I've got the gist of the game. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd start one and I'd have some fun with it. Um, I, I'm going to be starting a new game, obviously. Experience before I've played a bit of Crusader Kings 2 couldn't really get into it uh, the way the the UI was and I didn't really it was difficult very very difficult to learn and I found I was big into room for Universalis 3 and 4 so hopefully some of that carries over still and yeah this game's great it's a bit more like an RPG I guess uh, really fun to play so I'm thinking I wanted to start in 867 not 1066 and everything's kind of formed and already there um, 867 seems nice. I like I like the chaos of it all at that point and, and a lot of the Vikings coming in. We're going to go kind of Zeni Ruler um, here. So I had an idea. So my original idea was to play as uh, Alba. Now they are led by King Constantine II. Uh, I can't read his surname at this point, but they are a tribal. Now, I did see on forums and Reddit and things that there's a problem with tribal nations turning into feudal and a bit of a, a bug where they're not getting all the correct um, income they should be getting and actually losing out on a lot. So I've, I've kind of put that on hold for now and I think I'll go for uh, the Principality of Gwynedd. I think it's Prince Rodri II uh, the Great. Of Gwynedd. 47 years old, he's got a 17 year old heir here, uh, they're Catholic and Welsh and they're feudal so they're already in a, in a state that, that won't hopefully uh, have any issues. Um, quite an interesting spot to be in I guess, we can we can form Wales uh, hopefully quite quickly. We still have issues coming in from the north with the, um, with the Vikings and Jorvik as well. We've got uh, Half Dan of Jorvik, who is a big pain when I've played England or anywhere in England at any point. We've also got Ireland, which is kind of a big mess. Now we could run into potentially steal something there, or we can uh, just kind of keep our borders together and make sure we're we're settled and ready, or maybe try and keep the Brits away from us as well. Let's see how this goes though. 867 though, quite a good start. We've got a ton of Vikings here that are going to be raiding us up and down the sea. But I think we're in a decent location where we're not going to get completely hampered by them early on. And we'll have some time to build up a little bit of a defense, at least beforehand. Game rules, we're just going for all the standard stuff. Um, I'm not going to enable Iron Man. I can't have achievements. I've got a couple of mods uh, on the game. Um, I've got one that gives a bit of a better look at the barber makes it full screen when you're editing character i'll show you that and um, i've got a mod to give some better notifications which i'll show in the game as well and i'll link them in the description as well so you can see them kind of seem like quite crucial mods at the currently because yeah they just give you a few more notifications that i don't feel like are very clear in the game at the moment so let's jump straight in then so it's rodri right so you, I've, I've got a ton of notifications here, so let's see who we've, what he looks like. So Prince Rodri, very martial, a lot of intrigue here. 14, 22, 9, 17, and 8. Uh, prowess, I'm not sure what's well, excellent it says there, so that answers my question. But 19 prowess, so he's a pretty good fighter. He's pr pretty old, but his health is feeling, he's feeling fine, he's feeling okay. And I've got a couple too many domains as well. Um, I am loaded up on kids and I have a strong hook on um, my air. I'm not sure why that is. But we've got a fair few things to get in line. So let's first get his lifestyle sorted out. Well, he's martial already and he's, he's gallant. So I think we're going to stick down that trail. I think something we'll go for is um, let's get some... I feel like Dread's good in control. Keeps the money flowing in. We're going to go for authority focus. No, actually... Strategy. I think we're going to aim is to be a do a bit, bit of fighting early on, get a bit of a more land amassed under us. Maybe try and make become a king of Wales. I'm not sure if it's a king of Wales that you become, but try and get that early on. I think that's the route we're going to go. And maybe we go for overseer here because it gives us just county control, defender, support, and uh, makes our forts a bit stronger as well. 
that's all of that. Our heir needs to be married, so let's see what he actually looks like. So we've got, oh, that's a hell of a name. Uh, Amarad Rodri from Aberoth. So, well, House Aberoth, sorry. Dare to be good, that's what we are. Um, he's looking pretty good, nowhere near as good as his father. But he's, he's still martial and intrigue based, that's fine. He's young, so that's great. Pretty good gap in the age, so he'll kind of be of a decent age once we get him as a king, unless Rodri ends up living a lot longer than I'm expecting. I, I don't imagine he'll live for too, too long. And yeah, so he'll be taking over. He looks all right, so let's get him a wife. Really, I want someone with good stats. Now, I usually try and get, I'm gonna try and get someone with some diplomacy. Make sure he's making everyone like him early on. Diplomacy, who have we got here? An Irish woman from Insula. That's Morda. With the hammer, I support the persevering. That's a, that's a nice a nice motto right there. She's actually got us some claims too. Could have her. Now she she's she's royal, so I think it, oh, we didn't get any prestige. But I'm thinking maybe to go for the lowborn uh lady she's got two less judith judith of judith land no she's no one she's got this intelligence trait and if i can get some good traits into my guys um into my family that'd be great have some smarter guys in she's Bavarian. that's fine though not too big of an issue i think i might actually give for her we take a bit of a prestige hit or he takes a prestige hit my heir does but i think that's fine if we can try and get intelligent through our family that'd be a great physical trait to have. That. So we've got a ton of notifications here. So this is what the mod does. So this mod allows you to see when guardians can be assigned. This is pretty crucial really because the game doesn't tell you when guardians can be, it does tell you when guardians can be assigned in this menu here in the drop down, but you don't always notice it because it's just a number. So you can't see it. Whereas I feel like it's a very important part of the game, signing in guardian as well as that be assigned a guardian when they're six years old that's also when you decide their education focus so these are two very crucial things i think that we should be always having a say in so let's get guardian the size of todwell you to get you someone who's a uh, military focus that's gonna be me i'm gonna manage him murph murfin murfin up Rodri. I'm guessing app is off. So you are focused on diplomacy and stewardship. I think you could be a good steward for the family. Let's get my courtier after you. Cadell. Chunky fella. Oh, gluttonous, vengeful, impatient. Right? He may be a problem for when our son is uh, on the throne. But he seems to be maybe the marshal as well. So I'm not going to look after him. I don't necessarily want him to be good um uh, i just get him quite learned and get someone who's quite low down in the list he'll probably be a knight let's get him in the field maybe he maybe he doesn't need to uh live his best life nest our daughter she's 13 so she'll be married off soon she seems to be mainly learning okay we'll keep her learning focused with our bishop and lastly we've got ellen 12 years old. She is a bit of an all rounder. Let's get her on some intrigue though. Uh, Asian wise, we'll get her on intrigue here as well. Uh, Guardian. Can be looked after by our course here as well. That's the family. So we've got domains and few knights. So let's look at our court, our council. We can't change our bishop because of the nature of Catholicism. Uh, we can't revoke clerical appointment due to the doctrine. But we've got <clears throat> Mayor Sullen, Chancellor. He seems pretty bad diplomacy wise. I don't feel like I want him, even though he's a, he's a vassal. Um, Mayor. Uh, oh, God. Quillifin? Qu 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 I'm not sure, but he could be good. Depends if we've got any other good stewards. We do. We can recruit someone in, which I might just do, just to get him as a good. Um, got a courtier here but he's quite old 
think we're gonna get mayor mayor over here and Solon is atrocious at that so I think I'm gonna recruit this man here Fwedin Fwedir Fwedir he is the right religion Catholic and is a Welshman good recruit him in for the little bit of money we have I like a good steward it's the money flowing through a marshal probably mayor Maxen I think mayor Solon will be the best one to get in the guy we had already get him in there and mayor Ellis is the current spy master that should change here because he is just a lot better now princess anger at our wife she's lustful could be an issue with uh, kids that aren't mine impatient and humble and a great eminence she's mainly diplomatic so i think we'll get her on court politics and internal politics early on i think changes it straight away the numbers here um internal politics because we're gonna struggle we've just fired i've kicked a load of people around and they're not what the happiest vassals mayor Leffen's all right but maxon's not happy with us he's a powerful vassal ellis not very happy mayor not really mayors and then you've got a couple of other mayors who aren't too pleased um does our our bishop loves us always a good thing to have so we'll start getting people on side straight away we'll start with mayor maxon we'll be swaying him right out the gate just education notifications um other issues that we have at the moment uh anarad can marry we've tried to sort that already that's fine so the other mod that i've included is the barber shop so this is more just for screenshots and thumbnails seem pretty cool to do so i've got over here on the barbershop it opens a massive full screen thing which is brilliant i can change his uh the way he looks look at this oh amazing 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 choice here or lost or one or tied okay fair enough yeah so it's a nice little, little thing you can have here and change where they are yeah, just thought it would be cooler to see that. So, before I unpause the game, well, let's unpause the game and let a day go first, see if that changes our domains. Plays are going. Sun's married off, excellent. We'll pause it there. So, let's get these domains out then. Um, so currently, the capital is this uh, Aberfour, Aberfour. And that is the island. Is that the island here? What to see on the map? Yes, it's the island here. Barony of Aberfour. We don't need all of these. I think we'll give away maybe Shrewsbury. The Lordship of Ferlix. All Lordships. We don't need all of these though. So, Ferlix. Do we go to war straight away? Let's have a look what we've got. This will be the best one ready to take, Carlin. 465 troops of the very inferior to us. Declare well, we've got claims directly on one of the provinces straight away. It might actually be better for us to just go straight for war. Decisions wise, we can reclaim Britannia. That would be, I guess, the end goal, which would take over all of the British Isles. Um, but let's look at the claims wise or titles we can make. The Kingdom of Wales, which would be that whole area of the map. And then you've got the Empire of Britannia, which I zoom out. The Empire of Britannia is a lot bigger. It's like a whole landmass. But really, the Kingdom of Wales is what we want to go for here. Just there. Doesn't seem like it's uh, completely in hell, but let's see what wars. We've got no Cassus Belly there on any of that, so that's something down the line. They've got a bit more army. So it's definitely going to be the Lordship of Serendigion that we'll be taking first. That's going to be the best thing to do. I don't think we'll be able to make anything higher than being a prince, only the Principality of Gwynedd. So we should definitely hold out these, hand out these domains. So we've got Ferlix, we'll give that out. Now I'm going to try and give this to people that maybe like me a bit less to get them on side. So Mayor Cecil of Wrexham. Where are you? You're up there. Who's the mayor of Ferlix? So let's try and see this way around. Uh, I own that, but who's the mayor? Mayor Sindern. Let's just grant him 
Berlix. He has been there the whole time, so he can have it. We'll give it him, increase the opinion there, and then maybe we give away actually Wrexham Cecil, who's not the biggest fan of us, but we can get him on side. Uh, do we even have Wrexham actually at this stage? No, we don't. We have Wrexham, Penelin. Not given with the principality. Uh, Penelin. Can't pronounce that. Airy. We want to keep the stuff near me. Maybe we give away Penny Lynn. Penny Lynn. So Penny Lynn. Current mayor. Mayor Gammon. Mr. Gammon. Congratulations. You've been promoted. Brings us down to five. On the duchy level, Gwynedd. We don't need. That's Mercia. So really, we can give away that at the moment to. Uh, Lefin. He already likes us too, so we'll give him. Um, I'm with Thig. I'm really. I picked the place with challenging names for me here. <laughs> okay, we'll give that away too. That gets us down to four. Now I think we. Straight away, we are going to get this war going. It's a contested title. They've only got 465 troops. We've, we've doubled them. We've doubled it. Let's go for this. Raise the armies raised on that side of the sea. I don't think I'd want that. Let's move them to here. Arlek. Raise all the armies and let's play some games. Head straight in. They're going straight over the sea. No, they've given up on that straight away. This should be an easy win for us. Nice easy win. Oh, look at this dice rolls. 20 advantage. Just like that, he's cleared off. 50% war score. Let's actually see what we'll pause it for a quick. I never really look at these, but we only lost 31 guys, but the details are here. This is the main bit I want to see, which knights are performing. Mayor Ellis of Lynn. I don't know if I want my heir to be a knight. I think that's risky. My other sons are knights? Uh, I can't see. The son I don't really... Maybe don't want to live. Cadell. Old you for? Oh, he's not old enough to be a knight yet. That's something I need to stop though. Uh, knights. My son, an heir, needs to forbid being a knight. He should not be even giving it a go. Really. Let's keep this going. Military's not too expensive to run well over here. No court physician, but that's not too much of an issue. We don't need a court physician at this point. Y'all in war, we can declare war on. What's his army looking like if I was to claim 12,000 with the allies? We're just we're not messing with him. He's not, it gives us that recommendation, but I mean, allied with Jorvik, yeah. And Jorvik's scary for my location. We're not messing around with them. We're interested in Welsh politics and Welsh politics only at this stage. Oh, the great duelist. So, um, my vassal mayor, Alice has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and fear in his eyes. He tells me that my son and heir, Anarod, has been challenging people to duels all over Lynn. Please forgive me, my lord. But this has to stop. Anarod turned up at my doorstep and challenged me. I had no choice but to accept. Not the first time either. I am but the last in a long line of victims. And why is he messing people up? Anarod's got problems here. Uh... These duels will cease at once. I mean, I like that he's kind of putting them in his place, but they're not going to like him. Psst, your father will show you how it's done. I think we mm, will wound him. But I think he needs to be put in his place. 81% chance we win. Uh, your father will show you how it's done. Uh, he will not duel anymore, but he is wounded. Maybe put him in his place. He might be our heir. But he's not too high ranking to get an arse whooping. That's for sure. How are we doing here? Siege is almost over. Which is great. A nice quick siege here. And they have no army. And that's it. That's the battle done. We've taken Lord Gwyn, who is Gwigan. Who is the... He has the lordship or so. Oh, he is the lord there. Well, we've taken their leader. Let us enforce the demands. We get the Lordship of Ceredon and the City of Aberystwyth. 
May wisdom ever elude you. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. You're damn right. Just like that. We expanded what we have. By a, by a province. Now that puts us over the limit, but we don't need to be holding uh, Cardigan, Sarah Diggin. Sarah Diggin. God, these names. I think we'll grant that to... Uh, we got here rank one vassals. My knights, son maybe. Maybe I give that to Murph when I don't not like him. Let's uh, it helps him push a claim though, and he'll get something later on. Let's give him that anyway. Let's give him that. He likes us a lot anyway. Make him our vassal. We don't want to change his contract. Uh, we could try and get push some more taxes out of him and levies tyranny actual tyranny though I don't want anyone to lose any opinion of me at the moment uh, we, oh we can create the kingdom of wealth just off the back of that okay so we just need the money for it and I can create an alliance well that's an easy alliance for my own son I don't think he's gonna decline me that so I think for now then we just try and build some money while we wait or we'll have to wait for that truce to end. Uh, we can fabricate a claim. That can be quite expensive. Push that. Now we can fabricate a claim on Buffet. Would be a good one to claim on. Draw that coastline. Let's do that. Let's fabricate that claim. Culture wise, we've got. Is this a Anglo Saxon culture? We don't want that. We want them to be Welsh. That's the only thing that's over encroaching the what we'd know as current Welsh border. Merfwin comes of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child but as an adult. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards administration, such as Merfwin, can become truly to understand it. Displaying a thorough understanding of the flow of gold and wandering of people, he expresses a remarkable creativity in dealing with these matters. You've become a bit of a steward then. Good. 12. It's not better than anything we have currently, but yeah. Good thing. Um, Is he old enough to be married? Yes, he is. So we can marry him for... Um, how do we want to do this? Let's get someone who... Hmm. Prestige. Let's just get some prestige from a five-year-old. No, we're not into that. Um, let's look down the list. For 20, Etienne of Gothia. He is a potential ally from the county of Urgell, uh, which is way down in the south of France. But, you know, maybe we want to find someone closer to home. <clears throat> Do we have any children maybe over in Cornwall or Alba? One child there. Looking at the... Sons, lots of sons. Many daughters. What about Mercia or oh, Jorvik? Could we may potentially get an ally with Jorvik marrying one of their daughters, such as Saga the Truth Speaker? Range of marriage? Murfwin with. Who's Hof? Hofgoy? She's 44. No. 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 What about. Getting an ally with no no children there. Okay. Just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Think of relevance. Let's try and maybe just bring in some inheritable tree. He doesn't need inheritable tree. A leader. Maybe we can have a line of albinos in our family if we're lucky. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get her in. Oh, if when it's okay, we don't really see much from you in the future, so you can have that. There we go. <clears throat> Glad he accepted the marriage proposal. Of course he would. So we're going to be... This is going to take a while to convert this. It looks like it's going to take about three years. So it's a, it's a fair bit of time, but that's okay. Um, and 13 months to fabricate that claim, which isn't too long. So we'll just speed up some time here while we still save the money oh, for creating wealth. 
For as the Scots, though they share common origins with the other Anglo-Saxons, the clans living in northern Britain lowlands have adapted to life in the rugged terrain, diverging culturally and linguistically from their former countrymen, the Scots enthusiastically embrace their new cultural identity. We haven't looked at culture actually. Um, we've got our house, which is 30 members, pretty, pretty big. Going back a couple of generations. Oh, more than a couple. More than a couple. Your coal started it. The Aldum of Jorvik. Oh, so we actually started over there. Maybe that's something we should go back to. Oh, yes, we are here now with all of our many children. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and I wanted to check the yeah the culture. So Welsh culture, we can lead it, which is fine. Uh, we're in the tribal era currently, and we're currently focused on gavel kind. I think that's sensible. We'll let that continue. Um, we are technically feudal though, right? Am I right in saying that? Yes, we are. We're fine. The Republic there apparently. So we'll speed up time a bit here. And waiting just for the fabrication of the claim at the moment. Are we looking actually with the intrigue? So Mayor Maxon likes us. Everyone seems to be in good stead. Maybe we should increase. You guys are all okay. Maybe we make Mercia on our side. Their liege isn't the biggest fan of us. Let's sway him over to us, our, our side. Make sure he is our friend. Oh, quite satisfied. Tudwall. Tudwall? I'm not familiar with you, Tudwall. Who, who, who are you? Son of my ward. One of my younger sons? One of my younger sons. He's nine. <clears throat> Tudwall has been asking me for a toy boat for a long time, and I told him I would get him one in three months if he displayed more focus in his studies. He responded that he was fine with his current dedication to his studies, reward or no reward. Okay, well, we all learn to live a, with an our lot in life. We'll be content. Eat him to have a more flexible way of thinking. Fickle and content gives us minus one intrigue. Mainly a martial guy, so diplomacy is atrocious. I'm not going to bother trying to get him to that today. Or to be honest, we talk, take me at my word. Like I'm trusting. Diplomacy and intrigue. I think he's actually good being maybe content. Who's intrigue but gain learning? Yeah, be content. Four more months left and we'll try and get there. Uh Cadell has come of age. He's a knight. Let's get him married off. Oh an orthodox. We don't want him having a chance of becoming orthodox. That's not what I'm after here. Um, we set that to default, but religion wise, we need to keep them in Christianity and Catholic. Maybe we get someone here, she's quick. Bjorn fled. Anglo Saxon, too, so she's not that far removed. Lowborn, though. Bjorn Brunk, we got here. Why is that not? But there's a lot of people here. Frank. Turn that upside down. There we go. Oh, the age is a big issue. Age, five years difference. Oh, actually, let's just go over max age of 25, not necessarily five years difference. Max age of 25. Francesca, Luca. Ah, uh, God, a lot of zero year olds. Yeah, no, we don't want that. That's too long with no children. For him, so we'll put the age difference to five years as well. And let's see who's the highest. We don't have, oh no, 11 year olds. Pure Fled is still pretty high up there. I think we're just going to go with Pure Fled and take the, take the hit there. The daughters I mainly want to try and get off, married off in a matrilineal way. So we can kind of try and get some cadet branches out there. Oh, who's this? Chieftain of Metal Ped? Oh no. Oh no, I hope they don't get involved here. The marriage is accepted, I just accidentally exited that. Have they got any allies at the moment? Oh, allied with King Charles the Bold of West Francia, that causes us issues. 
How are they allied? To the marriage between Prince Highwell. Prince Highwell Maurice. Prince Hildegard. So he is married to Can we kill her to break that alliance? No, there's not much of a chance. Maybe we rest easy there for now. Um the Isles, how do they look in strength? Pretty strong. We could get across to Leinster for now if we're talking about getting a bit of a, a land grab here that we haven't got anything on them. We'll finish fabricating this claim anyway. To the implacable Rodri, I have prowled through documents of ancient, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case for the Lordship of Diffid. Do we see it done? Or do we wait? Maybe no I cannot. And maybe we leave it for now. Keep religious relations up. And maybe since we're not going to be fighting them while this marriage exists and they're not exactly old. She's 18. Oh, bear in mind, he's 39. Maybe we focus on just creating the Kingdom of Wales. We can then work with from there. In terms of this Lordship, can we declare war on them yet? We don't have a Castle Spelly. Maybe we need one there. That probably makes more sense. Take that province over. Be a more sensible approach. So we have a, a Marshall Perk available. So I think we go into maybe Castle's Belly Cost. Want to try and be fighting strict organization increases county control. We're not struggling with that. It's not an issue. We go Bellum just up here. Control wise, we're not having any issues at all. Two wars, y'all live are the boneless. Both tough guys to fight. Isles are very sort of Strathclyde. Not very strong, but I don't know if I want to be involved in that land there in between the Isles, Alba, and all that nonsense. I'd much rather head towards Ireland or potentially even take Cornwall. Cornwall is relatively strong, but a nice plot of land we could take. Wessex would be an issue then, but they're not hugely outnumbering us in terms of army. I mean, we're not doing too bad on that front. So we've lost that to Ferrier. Oh, he's not very strong, is he? Uh, we can actually holy war for that county right now. Really, they shouldn't have that, and we don't want them to have that. So actually, let us do that. Then, bit of on a whim, but I think it's actually the best move to jump on that early on. Not let them get anywhere with it. Stop Chieftain on Ingleford in his tracks. We don't really want the Vikings to have any kind of foothold in uh, in Wales. They shouldn't be here. Nest comes of age. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer as a child. I won't read this every time because it's a similar thing, but they grow up so fast. Charismatic negotiator she got. Great. Um, before we carry on with that war, let's get her married off. So let's... I don't understand what the difference between... Oh, between two characters at your own court. Right, I want to find you a spouse. Matrilineal. And by rank. We got here, we've got... We can marry... Son of Prince Highwell. Alliance would do it. So he would get some land, actually. Like, be a good one to marry into. We can get marry him. Maybe that's where we go. Take the matrilineal marriage too, because that comes into my family. And he would still get a claim on it. Would he not? Let's do it anyway. Married into that. Probably give us an alliance with them too. Yeah, we did form an alliance with Prince Howell. Even though we don't, we're not really big fans of him. But hey, I will take it. I can call allies into this war. Not needed. Not needed at all. Let's just keep pushing on this province. I don't think they'll send in any further army from up north. Long way away. They've just had a fight. Oh no, he's brought someone in. Yeah, over there. Did not notice. I 
in the province. Uh, stopped them in their tracks and we should absolutely beat them down. Getting stuck in, there was a commotion among children today. Ellen was attempting to preach among her fellow youngsters and became a target of a small fight. Tudwell intervened and did what he could to protect. Never back down from a challenge, Tudwell. Let me tell you how you could have mediated this. So Tudwell, you are a martial guy. I'd say you never back down. I want you to be brave. Uh, we can get that claim. We don't actually need it now. Actually, uh, I've wasted his uh, effort twice as a bishop. But no, we do not need that claim. So let's get our own capital back. Once we have that back, that should be enough percentage to simply take off. Oh, God's sake. Has he got allies in this war? He does have an ally in this war. Okay, we'll, we'll call in uh, Prince Highwell. I mean, just, just help us clear this up, please, Highwell. If you would be a darling. You may be able to deal with that. Right out of the gate. Let's see. We'll deal with it then. You can go up and clear. No? Is he not going to go and clear that for me? That's fine. I will destroy these guys. You don't have a chance. Okay. Head back up. Oh, head back up to other four and clear that siege down. He's not to grow so fast. Ellen's now come of age. Flamboyant trickster. So again, I want to get her married off matrilineally. Um, not a range of marriage. It's fine. Let's just because again, I want to expand our range. The Mora County of Cornell could be a good one to get. You the heir? Son of Count Empath? Who's your heir? Oh, for it. He's already married. Maybe we get. Uh, let's let's do it anyway. <clears throat> Spread our family into France. Accepted that. Easy peasy. And we'll move back up here. Whoa, that's a big army. Hang on. Okay, we're going to have to start calling in all the big dogs now. Let's call both of them in. <coughs> I don't know where that ally is coming from with that army. Kingdom of Cornwall, what are they doing here? Let's clear this off. Come on, come on, get involved. There we go, let's pause that before anything else happens and enforce those demands. And there we go, we've taken Car uh Kerfordin. Kerfordin. I'm gonna go with that. There we go, let's disband this army. We don't need them for now. And we can hand that out. Now, who do I give F within two? Have they got a mayor down there? Mayor Melories. I might actually just give you it. Because you've been down there for a while now. You know you know the lay of the land. Take it. You're no longer a lowborn lady. You are now Lady Mayor. Lady Mayor. Still saving up for Wales to get the kingdom. Oh, Cadell can be married. Cadell I'm not a big fan of. Not a big fan of. I could get him off married off matrilineally. Take him out of everything. But I think that might be a bad shot. I think maybe with him if I reset all this. Him married off to... I mean anyone really. One with a good opinion of me. So that way... Really get support. I want someone who's vengeful. That will help. Arm gluttonous. Oh, I don't really want anyone who's got that trait. Dennis? That's Epstein. Oh. Gregarious? Maybe her. Maybe I don't really want him to even carry on a bloodline. I may get him married to someone who's infertile. Sounds pretty bad, but I, I don't want him really continuing anything. Um, getting married to Echowin here. Take take the hit, buddy. Get out of here. I don't want to see you. 
Okay, and we've got a low county control in angle C because it got captured, which sucks. Um, it's coming back up at 0 0.4 rate, that's not too bad. Maybe we can get Mayor Sullyan involved there just to bump it up a bit faster. That brings it to 1. Take that for now. When it comes to the Kingdom of Wales, we need 500 gold. I'm going to speed things right up and see if we can get there in this episode. So, I guess while this speeds up, I had a few things. I've never done a series before. Um, oh, let's get Marshall. Get uh, organized march. And we're going to get some archers as well soon. Um, yeah, I've never done a series before. Let's play. It's my first one. First episode I'm recording. I'm not sure on length that people would want to see. I mean, if you've got an idea of what kind of length you'd want to see, let me know uh, for episodes. I was kind of thinking around the 45 minute mark. Quite long, but I think it'd be okay for people who want to watch a let's play of this game. Anything shorter, you're not getting much done um, early on, especially. Um, if, the, if you think some of the parts are boring, I, I can cut them out as well. If it's just kind of, you want more of a highlight reel version of it, that could be a, a good formula I've thought about. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this series goes. I've never done anything like this on a series, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. And if you have any thoughts on what I should do next, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments where you think I should go next. Um, the main focus for the start is the Kingdom of Wales. Oh, I've been hosting. Ooh, brilliant. My servant has got me some good, good respect here. Take that. Speaking of which, He's a good friend of mine now. Oh, Cornwall, maybe we get them on. So he's already on side. Wessex? Jorvik, maybe. Maybe Jorvik like us. I don't really want any trouble. Want any trouble with him. Okay, we're at 400 gold. A lot of money to pay out. Uh, Tudwal, I don't really. I was shocked when I caught Tudwal trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting Mayor Sullyan. He blamed a game another child had invented, but I could tell he was lying. I think I want him to be deceitful to suit his character. He's he's quite a good person. Uh, honest would give him diplomacy, lose the intrigue. Humble. What's your opinion? Uh, I think I want him to be guided by rules rules greater than ourselves. Try a bit of stress, but it's okay. Snake in the court. I'm heading for my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep. When I hear faint rustle from the window, just the wind, I think, until the wind starts to speak. Ellen, open up my honeycomb. It is I, gammon. You absolute gammon! I push the shutters open, and lo and behold, a man has climbed up Ellen's window. My vassal, Lord Mayor Gallant. Gammon, sorry. She's seventeen, and she's just been married. You cheeky dog! Why did you just call my daughter, you philanderer? Well, I was just close to Ellen Avera who disliked fornication. What what are you doing? Am I gonna have to arrest you? Sway him. Make your half ton of Jorvik more susceptible to my attempts approaching him. I can include a compliment in my next missive to his court. Remember, and shake more faith in Odin. Yeah, I think he'll like that. Our recent correspondence has been a source of joy for me. I cannot help but think we might both benefit from increased communication. Excellent. You, you sly dog. Prison you without... Oh, uh, it's just tyrannies. It's just being a lad, really. I can't really... It's not a crime to be a lad, is it? So, right, well. What we're going to be doing is accumulating some money, and I think I'll, I'll do that. Um, oh, criminal can be in prison. An imprisoned... My master. It's only a fornicator, it's not a huge crime for me. I'm not gonna arrest her for that. Uh, two guardians. Oh, wasn't paying attention to that. Sway the Gajol, while hosting lords and ladies from the realms near and far, some opportunities to portray Yarl Halfdan of Jorvik in a good light of parental themselves. My lord, pray tell who is the most chivalrous person you've heard of. Hmm, do I say me though in this instance? Do with some prestige. Me, of, of course. It's me. Right, on that note, I'm going to pause it.
and uh, yeah, I think I'll call this episode here. So that's been my start to Gwynedd. Uh, as Prince Rodri the Great. Hopefully we'll form Wales in his lifetime, the kingdom at least, and, and we'll still probably have some claims to get, but the kingdom will exist. Um, but yeah, if you've liked this first episode of my Let's Play, um, don't forget to like the video, it really helps me know that I'm doing something right, and if you want to see more, subscribe. Comment what you thought went well, what you didn't like, um, and maybe what you think I should do next. I'm open to all of it, I want to hear what everyone has to think. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.